Hello, my beautiful Sages. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or a Jupiter in Sagittarius in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this uh, reading as it relates to your love life. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. Also, for all you beautiful Sages out there, if you would like to get a consultation with me, go to the link below. If you would like to get a membership to my website to access all of the extended readings for this upcoming month and all the months thereafter, you can cancel anytime you like. You can also go to the link below. Please keep those wonderful comments coming. I certainly do appreciate it. This is just a general reading and it may or may not apply to you. These could go many different ways. This energy could be coming from you. It could be coming at you or it could be going on around you. So be aware of that. These are predictive readings. If it's not happening to you now, give it some time. It probably will be happening to you in the month of March. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get right into it. And sometimes they do end up happening maybe two to three weeks after um, the time frame that I put out there as well. So, you know, energy is very fluid. Um, you'll know when you see this video uh, if it's applying to you or if uh, it is likely that you will be affected by this energy in the future. All right. Spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, sun and masters, higher self, please first. One more shuffle, please. All right, we are ready. Cutting the deck. All right, Sages, what is your energy for the upcoming month of March of 2020? You do have the sun, Sages. This is beautiful. This is freedom. This is independence. This is feeling like a child again. For some of you, Sages, you may be seeing your children or you may be getting pregnant. There is definitely energy here where you are truly enjoying time in the sun. For some of you out there, it may start getting warm where you are at in the month of March and you are just enjoying being outside, seeing the flowers bloom, taking pictures of the flowers. It's gorgeous. For some of you Sages out there, you may also um, have some sort of energy that you're sharing with a Leo person as well. So please be aware of this energy. Your second energy for the month of March is the King of Wands. So here we've got the Leo Sagittarius or Aries person that is certainly looking back on this particular Sagittarian energy. Uh, but this could also be a Leo person looking on themselves. So for example, if the Queen, if the King of Wands is a Leo, they're looking at their own inner child, their own Leo inner child. Okay. This is healing. This is wonderful healing. This Leo person might be undergoing some massive healing right now, or this fire sign is looking at how to heal something from the past. This is certainly coming up here. And wow, this is really just gorgeous. And Sages, you might be doing that as well. Um, there is something going on relative to needing to look back at the past as it relates to your children. And so you might be looking at past pictures, doing a collage, whatever it is, but there's something about these old photos that kind of sends you down memory lane. For others of you out there, you're, you're going through some sort of investigation as it relates to children or children, um, children medical conditions, like medical conditions of children is what I'm picking up. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I am picking that up. All right, Sagittarius, so your third energy for March of 2020 is the Nine of Wands. So the third energy being the Nine of Wands is that you are being protective right now. You are standing your ground. You've been hurt. You've been maimed. You've been called a bunch of names. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's, it's almost like a rhyme. You've been hurt. You've been maimed. You've been called a bunch of names. And you're kind of in a situation right now where you're like, you know what? I always had my heart in the right place. I never tried to do anything that would hurt anyone. And I'm just, I'm just gonna protect myself right now because I don't wanna be put in a situation where I'm compromised, right? This could also be um, Sagas for you. There might be, you might be a little bit apprehensive of someone in your life. 
it might be a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries person that is feeling free, feeling independent, feeling like they're in love, healing a love situation, falling in love with somebody, getting pregnant with someone. This could be some type of energy that you're feeling here. Um, are they going to have kids? I mean, you might be a Sagittarian um, daughter or son and maybe your father or your mother is starting to see somebody new and you're like, oh my gosh, are they going to get pregnant? Am I going to have another little brother? Am I going to have another little sister? I mean, something is going on here regarding this. This could also be your brother or your sister getting pregnant as well. I just want to let you know about that. But this, there, there's something going on, Sagittarius, where you've got to be careful uh, as it relates to um, where you're stepping Okay, where you're stepping, because I feel like you could you could stumble upon a small accident. Okay, this could be tripping on the sidewalk. This could be slipping um, a little bit. This could be bumping your head. Might have something to do with kids being very rambunctious in your life as well. So, or maybe the kids are bumping their head and there's a small minor scratch or bruise or whatever. But that's happening here in the month of March. <clears throat> Yes, that's what I'm getting here. All right. The fourth energy for you, Sages, in the month of March is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the get or done card, okay? This is do it, do it, and redo it. This is the perfection. This is um, getting on top of something so that you don't lose track of something. This is making sure you stay ahead of the game. This is the apprentice energy as well. So some of you might be babysitting, <laughs> okay, um, Sages. Some of you are babysitting and you are babysitting some rather rambunctious children. Um, it, it's almost as though they are knocking everything down off the wall or they're making a mess and you're just constantly cleaning up after them. But something is happening here. But you're, you're kind of enjoying it in a way, but in another way, it's kind of annoying because you're trying to get some work done. So maybe you're trying to work and your kids are being just a little bit rambunctious and overly overly playful with you. Um, but this could also be building a future for children. You could be working on um, a, baby, a baby room. Okay, so like a nursery, you could be working on a nursery. Um, you could be uh, doing some sort of repairs or updates to your children's room. Maybe you're painting your children's room or you're getting them a new bed or they're they're out of the crib now and now they're in their own little bed there's some some sort of energy coming through regarding transforming from one stage of life into another and that's what's coming up sages i am seeing home improvements definitely and maybe for some of you sages out there you're teaching your child how to do home improvements or maybe they're even teaching you but that is certainly coming up here as well Sagis, some of your children are taking up an instrument. Yep. They're taking up an instrument. They're getting into band. And um, yeah, you're telling them to practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So that's what's going on, Sagis. So what is your fifth energy for March of 2020? You do have the Five of Swords. So as it relates to the Five of Swords, Sagis, someone had to walk away from a situation that no longer served them. This could have been you. This could have been somebody else. It may have been because of a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo person, but something is happening here relative to um, someone in this situation was very selfish, okay? It was more about them than it was about the relationship. It was more about them than it was about the love. It was more about them, even though they truly loved you or you truly love them, okay? that That's not in question. This is absolutely, there is love here, okay? The problem with this was, is that this love caused some sort of apprehension in someone's life. And so what happened here was it's as though it had to be kind of done behind closed doors because 
if certain people would have found out about it, maybe at work, maybe it had to do with work, um, a relationship at work. If someone found out about it, somebody could have gotten in, into some big trouble or it just wouldn't have looked good on them. So that's what I'm picking up, Sages. Um, but someone may have walked away or was dealing with a very manipulative fire sign male or masculine female Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person. And then for your sixth energy for March of 2020, we do have the three of pentacles. So Sag is, someone is making a plan. Someone is watching you work. Someone is watching you work diligently. You're watching somebody work diligently. There is a plan that must be completed. So Sag is, you could be working on a home improvement. Someone, you have a contractor that's working on a home improvement as well. This could certainly be um, expertise in a specific situation. I am feeling for some of you, this is expertise in radiology or in pathology for whatever reason that is coming up or even respi uh, not respiratory, maybe respiratory for some of you. But um, for others of you, it feels a lot like uh, reproductive endocrinology or reproductive um, uh, maternal fetal medicine something like that, but there's there's this, this level of perfection expertise that you're bringing into a situation or that someone else is bringing into a situation. This could also be since, since the Five of Swords is between the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, someone could be leaving the job, someone could be leaving work, and you know, it may be found out that they, um, they cheated the company that they were with or they stole some property off of uh, the company or from the company, and that might be what's happening here as well. So anyway, Sages, I hope you like this general reading. If you want something a little bit more, excuse me, detailed, and um, you want to get your clarifiers, your love, your psychic downloads, and your overall advice, please consider getting a membership to my website. The link is below. I hope to see you over there. Take care, much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.